we have about eight minutes that we could accept your questions before our concluding remarks. And my brother would say, life is short. Is your question burning? Would you like to define what a burning question is while our mic runner comes up? Burning is this. You know for certainty that Mr. Putin's first strike will land on Vegas in three minutes. <laughs> for a certainty. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Yes. How do you survive being an introvert on a big stage? Mm. Two minutes. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it has to do with the philosophy of the pointed stick, which we might return to. This is a challenge. Anyone who undertakes a personal discipline will know that it's very easy to become comfortable or fall asleep. One simple technique for addressing this is that of challenge, or in guitar craft it's known as the pointed stick. Find yourself a challenge which is beyond your comfort zone, but which if you stretch and exert yourself, you may honorably address. I'll give you an example of a pointed stick in guitar craft. Okay. Students would uh, attend the early courses at Claymont Court in West Virginia, and perhaps on day five of a seven-day course, they would be presented with a pointed stick, a challenge. Tomorrow evening, you will be going into the Iron Rail Bar in Charlestown, downtown, and you will be presenting a performance of music which you have, will have written and rehearsed from now until then. Go. So the bus would arrive at the bar which would not be considered sophisticated. <laughs> um, the Civil War was triggered by John Brown a little down the road, and in Charlestown, he was actually tried. The iron rail was just down from the courthouse. The judgment being offered by the locals at the bar was probably a savage. And once the students had sat in and perf began performing, if the audience response was not sufficiently to remind them of their duties to music and the audience, I would perhaps heckle them or throw things at them. I have, for example, thrown both my shoes at a Los Angeles lawyer who is performing solo. The idea of the heckler is you remind the performer of their responsibilities to music and the audience and themselves. On one occasion at the Iron Rail, uh, a blonde woman of a certain age who had been enjoying the flow of healing waters available in the tavern appeared at the, the door of this small performance area and was obviously not supportive. So I invited her in, sat her down at a table just in front of the students and bought her a drink. This was an additional level of pointed stick or challenge for the students. Do we have another burning question? Was it an example of the pointed stick that prompted you after seven days to uh, ask your bride to marry you? This was not a pointed stick. Uh, I have on occasion been asked, why did you propose after a week? How could you have known this was your wife? I reply, how could I not know this is my wife? Recognizing that this was my wife, I proposed. I poured a glass of, shame, of champagne beforehand, may I say, <laughs> and then proposed, and my wife kindly accepted. Well, you have said you, you had an arranged marriage. Yes. You know conventionally in arranged marriages where you trust your parents to make the choices 
for you. And one of the guitar craft men, his mother was an arranged marriage. She remembers being called out of the cinema in Pakistan to be told who her husband was going to be. In our culture, this is surprising. Now, my wife and myself, after a week, we really didn't know each other. Nevertheless, recognizing that we were for each other, we had an arranged marriage between ourselves. We arranged to get to know each other within the commitment of marriage. 